So we're going to make a protein bar from scratch. Uh, if anyone's had those store-bought protein bars, I don't know about you, but they taste absolutely repulsive. <laughs> um, you need the jaws they make of me life dehydrated. to chew through them as well. <laughs> and very dehydrated, yeah. So we're going we're to make something. It's, it's a little tastier. Um, you can see the ingredients. You can see what's in it, which is very important. Um, and it's going to be a little bit more moist. For this, we have the skim milk powder. That's actually where the majority of our protein is coming from. You'll see some other smaller sources after. Um, and it has some just ground uh, oats. You can get milled oats or just get large flaked oats and buzz them through a, a food processor. We just want to break them down a bit. Uh, this is going to act as a nice binding. Um, you're going to get a little bit of fiber from the oats, but you're going to get a lot, a lot of protein from the skim milk powder. And so we're going to stir that together. You can add, I didn't add it in the, in the list, but uh, I just, see, I'm, I'm cooking, I'm coming up with the recipes as we go along. <laughs> a little bit of cinnamon in, in here would be really nice, or a little bit of nutmeg. Spice it up and do it at this point. Mix it in with your dry ingredients. So that's a little extra bonus that no one else online is going to get, unless you're watching live. And so we're going to mix that up. So we have our dry ingredients in here. We can add, we can add our pumpkin seeds, uh, any sort of seeds, sunflower seeds would be great. We'll mix that through. And then I put on there the, the dates as well. You can put the blueberries. I'm actually going to add them on this side. So for our wet ingredients, I have a little bit of almond butter. Um, you can grind it yourself. There's a great recipe um, on our website to make your own almond butter from scratch. It's literally almonds, and you blend it in a food processor. And just be patient, 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 and it'll turn <laughs> into almond butter. It never looks, I doubt it every time I make it, because you just get these almonds Lumps, and the dryness yeah. going around, and then just when you're about to turn it off and give up, all of the oils start to come out. It's worth it. It's worth the wait. Uh, also, something to note, if you're going to make this, grab the largest bowl in the kitchen. Uh, I did it today because I knew I didn't want to embarrass myself in front of everyone again. It's just a lot easier. So the almond butter goes in. We're going to add some Greek yogurt here. Again, it's going to add some nice moistness to the protein bar, a little bit of protein as well. And we're going to add some maple syrup. You can add honey as well, um, just to sweeten it up. And this is going to also help to bind everything together. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You find all kinds of sugar sources and uh, odds and ends and, and commercial protein bars. So it's nice that you can kind of control the sweetness. So if you like it a little less sweet, you can add you know, less of the maple syrup or the honey. We're going to add um, a little bit of vanilla extract, again, just to boost up that flavor. And our quinoa. So quinoa, not something you typically find in a protein bar. Um, this is going to give us some nice texture. Um, you're going to get a little bit of protein from it as well. Um, and I have a red quinoa here. You can use just any regular quinoa. I find that the red quinoa, if you cook it the same as you would the white quinoa, you get a little bit of a, uh, of a crunchier texture. Um, which is nice in the protein bar. It doesn't become all soft. But either, either quinoa will work in here. And if you don't have quinoa, um, I like, you know, for texture, you can use like a puffed rice cereal or a puffed millet or some of those, those kind of, uh, those healthier cereals. Not, nothing with the sugar added. You can find, you know, puffed rice, puff, uh, puffed millet in your regular grocery store. And that would be a, a great substitute. Um, you'd be losing some, some of the protein in there, but... It's not a significant source. So for each protein bar that we're making, we're going to get 14 grams of protein. So definitely you know, going to get you close to that ballpark of that 15 to 25 grams after your exercise. Um, a lot of people also like to drink something right after the workout. And it's good. You want to hydrate, like I said. Um, but you can also have something that has some carbohydrates in it. Like chocolate milk is a really popular thing to have after a workout because you get that rush of sugar to replace your glycogen stores, you get a little bit of protein there, and then you can have something more substantial, you know, an hour or two later. So that goes, that's going to go in, and then we're going to slowly mix in the, yeah, we're going to need, if you have a helper. This is another workout in the kitchen <laughs> as well. Um, 
if it is a little too too much, then you can definitely use a, a stand mixer if you have a stand mixer or the, the hand blenders. It'll be a little easier. These protein bars are also a great thing to take. Um, keep them in your purse, keep them in your bag um, for when you get hungry. If you're kept late at appointments or you're waiting, it's a good idea to always have a snack on hand so that you're not tempted by vending machines and some of the other less healthy options out there. This is nice. I could just kind of relax. <laughs> Watch you sweat a little bit. Woo. How many calories are in the protein bar? Great question. It's about 300 calories per bar. Yeah. All right. So you want to mix it. Quite <laughs> I can, better I than can, this. I can keep her going. For, uh, <laughs> uh, you want to mix it uh, just until it's well combined. Question? You can use your hands if you want. Yeah, sure. That would be the best. You'd really combine it well. Uh, but that's looking pretty good. Good? Yeah. And so now what you want to do is, <laughs> you got your hands in there anyways. <laughs> uh, what you want to do is, is put it into uh, some baking sheet. I've lined the, bar, the bottom with some uh, saran wrap and a little bit of parchment paper just so it's easier to take out. And this size is pretty good. I might, you know, you can have two smaller ones if you need. But pretty much you just want to pour everything in and press it down so it's about three quarters of an inch to about an inch um, in height and there we go and so just kind of press that down and then once you get it nice and even this is fun it wants to <laughs> stick on you you can uh, put it in the freezer so just I'm not going to show everybody, <laughs> but you press it down, <laughs> and then you get the picture, and uh, spread it till it's nice and flat into the freezer to set uh, about 20 minutes or so, uh, just till it's nice and solid. And I'll show you what it looks like, and it's, it's easier to cut. It. It's easier to cut when it's nice and solid, but you can see here, we'll take the saran wrap off. So I cut ahead of time. I cut it into little small bars, so one serving is about three three of these bars. Um, so th I cut them a little bit smaller, and that's for 14, about 14 grams of protein. Um, and this is nice, you can store so these in the freezer. you would cut this freezer. into eight? Or no, this is a bigger pan. Yeah, this is a, bigger this is a little bit of a bigger pan. But, um, so with the, this recipe, you would cut it into eight bars, and then you'd be hitting your protein absolutely. goals, you'd be getting enough carbohydrate to replenish, and you definitely want to have this with you know, some sort of fluid, you want to replace all of the water that you may have lost as well. Yeah, and this is, it's a nice little, you know, a nice little protein treat.